In this video, I will introduce you to the fantastic GitHub repository, EV3 Dev 2. Welcome to the greatest of GitHub. In this series, I scour GitHub for some of the greatest repositories, and I make a basic introduction to it. If you want to skip straight to the repository, it will always be the first link in the description. Now, let's get on to the video. So, you have a LEGO Mindstorms EV3, but there's a problem. The programming language. It's a block programming language, and at this point, you are way beyond that. You'd rather use something like Python or Java or C++ to program your robot. And you also don't want it to be very complicated. Now that is where EV3 Dev 2 comes in. EV3 Dev 2 is an improved operating system for the LEGO Mindstorms EV3. You can install it via a micro SD card, and once it's installed, it includes all the features normally available on any EV3, plus some enhanced debugging features that work through the computer. EV3 Dev 2 allows you to program all of the EV3 components in Python, Java, and C++. Now, you can control the EV3 via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or wired, so it's easy to connect to. Now, if you want to check out the docs, Feel free to do that, it's the first link in the description. Otherwise, the next part of the video will give you a basic explanation as to how to use it. Now, let's get ready to use EV3 Dev 2. First, we're gonna need to install an app called Etcher. Etcher is a free and open source app that allows you to etch an operating system onto a micro SD card. So, first, let's go to their website and click the button that allows us to download it. Now, once it's downloaded, we'll click it to open it. Next, we're going to have to download the EV3 Dev 2 operating system for the EV3. So let's go to the EV3 Dev 2 website and click on that link to download it. Then we can open up Etcher again and select that from the file list in order to begin etching it. Now, you're gonna have to choose what your card you're etching it onto. I don't have anything plugged in, but if you plug in yours, you should be able to select it from that list. Then you can just click etch and it'll etch it onto that card. Now we're also going to have to install a extension onto Visual Studio Code, which is what I'm going to be using for coding with EV3 Dev 2. So just search in the extensions for EV3 Dev 2 and click and install the one that is EV3 Dev 2 browser by EV3 Dev 2. That one will allow us to browse EV3 Dev 2 supported devices that are connecting through Bluetooth. Now, we're ready to start using it. Now that we've got our micro SD card etched, we're ready to turn it on. First, you're gonna wanna plug in your micro SD card, and then you can simply turn it on. Now, it looks like it's starting normally, but if you wait, it will begin to load like EV3 Dev. As you can see, it's loading in that way. This could take up to a minute or maybe even more. And then all you have to do is connect it through Bluetooth to your computer, and then we'll jump into coding. Now, it's time to make our first program. I will be using Visual Studio Code for this, and it's the best supported of all of them, so I would highly recommend you do the same. Now, let's start by explaining this first line. This first line needs to go at the top of every EV3 Dev 2 program. It just tells the EV3 that this is a Python program and how to run it. Otherwise, it won't understand what it is. Next, we're going to be importing from EV3 Dev 2, specifically the motor module and we're going to import move tank, which allows it to move like a tank. And then we're also gonna import output A and output B, which are the two motors that I'm using to control my EV3. Next, we're gonna have to make a variable for our tank pair, which is gonna be our two wheels. So we're gonna set tank pair equal to move tank, which is a function. And inside of that, we're gonna be putting the two motors we're gonna be using, output A and output B. Next. We're going to turn on the tank bear for a certain number of rotations for speed 100 for left and 100 for right. And the rotations we're going to be setting it for is 80. 
that's really overkill for any indoor space, but it should be fine as long as you're able to stop it. Now, let's run it. Now, let's make a more advanced program. First, we're gonna change this line right here, tank pair dot on for rotations, and we're gonna set it for only three. So it's gonna go forward for three rotations. Next, we're gonna set it on for rotations, and it's gonna be three. But for the right speed, what we're gonna set it to is negative 100. That will make it go in a circle for three rotations. Not a complete circle, just part, part of a circle. Now, let's copy this first line and paste it again, and we'll go three rotations in the direction we end up on. Now, let's run this program. Now, for our final program, we're going to be using a sensor, specifically an infrared sensor. That's why we're going to be importing infrared sensor from ev3dev2.sensor.lego. Next, we're going to import sleep from time, which allows us to delay for a certain number of seconds at a time. Then, we're going to import OS, which allows us to set the font to a larger font so that it'll print out larger text on the screen. Then, we're going to be initializing our sensor variable as infrared sensor. Then we're going to loop forever. And each time we're going to delay for one second. And then we're going to print out the distance that the sensor is detecting on the screen. Now, let's run it. Now, it's your turn to make a project using EB3 Dev 2. If you make something really awesome, I would love to see it in the comments below. So if you make something, leave a link in the comments below. Also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, well, you know what to do. But if you loved it, make sure to subscribe and maybe even share it with some other people. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of Greatest of GitHub.